welcome everyone to episode 6 of Bonnet Inku's Arcadia Quest painting series. Today we'll be painting Professor Snape's doppelganger, Seth. I start off like usual prying him in some Vallejo black primer. I really like this black primer because it goes on really well through an airbrush, doesn't really require any thinning but you can if you want, and it goes on really well with a brush. I then sprayed a coat of dead white over his skin as well as that little magic piece shooting out of his wand so that later it'll be a whole lot easier to paint those lighter colors because painting lighter colors over a black base coat is just a pain so undercoating these things in white will just make that process a whole lot easier. I then base coated the hair with some leather brown. Then to bring out the details of the hair, I gave it a wash of Nolan Oil. Now at this point, I took a little break from the hair to go back and fix his skin because as you'll notice, his skin is green. I originally tried painting his skin so it matches card art, which is kind of like this bluish green tint to it, but after making some progress on the hair, it just wasn't coming together and just wasn't looking right. So I decided at this point that I would go back and fix the skin so that I could then come back and happily finish the hair. So here's me rebase coating the skin with a one to one mix of dead white and pale flesh. Then, since I was already working on the skin, I decided I'd just finish it off completely before returning to the hair. So I mixed up my favorite skin tone wash of Seraphim Sepia and Reichland Flesh Shade with a bit of glaze medium and applied that to all the skin. I then went back to my original Pale Flesh and Dead White mix and established some highlights on those areas that I thought light would generally be hitting. So this was mostly on the top of his nose, his cheeks, his forehead, and on the end of his fingertips. After applying those highlights, I felt like some of the highlights were a little too strong, particularly his forehead. So I went back to that wash mix and did a little two brush blending to smooth out those transitions. Basically, I just applied the wash with one brush, then took a damp brush and wiped the wash away from areas that I wanted to keep a little brighter. With the skin now done, I repainted the eyebrows with some leather brown and then shaded them with some Nolan Oil so that they'd match the hair. I then cleaned up the eyes and the teeth using dead white. Next I took bloody red and painted an oval in each eye to form his irises. I then took a micron pen and drew a circle in the center of each eye to form his pupils. Now if you've watched any of my other videos, you'll notice that this is a little different than the way we've painted other heroes eyes. This is because for Seth, we're going for a more crazy eyed look, and if you look at any crazy eyed anime character, this is pretty much what their eyes look like. Then as the last step before returning to the hair, I base coated his shirt in dead white. Finally getting back to the hair, it's time to gradually build up those highlights with a couple layers of dry brushing. Dry brush layer number one is leather brown, applied all over the hair. Dry brush number two is earth, this time applied in a smaller area covering about 80% of the hair. Dry brush number three is a one to one mix of earth and ochre brown focused towards the more center areas of the previous highlights and the ends of his hair. And the final highlight is a dry brush of ochre brown, again focused on the very centers of the previous highlights and the ends of his hairs. Next I base coated his cloak and his pants with a 2 to 1 mix of blue and dark gray. Thank you. 
I then applied a wash of Drakenhop Nightshade and gave it plenty of time to dry before moving on to highlighting. For the first highlight, I used a 3 to 1 mix of blue and dark gray. I'd like to take just a quick moment and thank all you guys for checking out my videos. I'm a new creator and I know I'm not professional or anything, but I really enjoy sharing my hobby with all you guys. So thank you guys for checking out the channel, I hope you're enjoying the content, and thanks to all you guys who have left comments. It's been fun to hear what you guys think of my work, and it'll be fun to hear what more you guys think, so go ahead and leave a comment down below. Then for the second highlight, I brightened the mix up a bit by adding an extra drop of blue and applied it over roughly two thirds to three quarters of the previous highlight. For the third highlight, I used medium blue. This being the brightest highlight, I focused mainly on the upper parts of each of the grooves of the cape, as well as on any of the upper areas where light would generally be hitting the strongest. Then to blend the highlights together, I added a drop of medium blue to that second highlight mix and applied it so it overlapped over the brightest highlight and the medium one. Then to further increase the contrast and blend things a little bit more together, I applied a second layer of Drakenhof Nightshade. With all that blue done, I moved on to adding some accents to the cloak using a 2 to 1 mix of bloody red and whole red. I then highlighted all those accents using bloody red. I finished off the accents using some Agrax Earthshade. I next applied a base coat of whole red to his belt and his boots.
Then after that base coat was fully dried, I applied a wash of Nolan Oil. I then used brass to pick out all those metal pieces like his belt loop and his buttons. Moving on to the wand, I base coated the handle using dark gray. I then base coated the little magic spell shooting out of his wand using necrotite green. I then mixed together some necrotite green, wash base, and distilled water to create a glaze, and applied it generally to all the areas where I thought his magic spell would be casting green light. I then started highlighting all that green using a 1 to 1 mix of necrotite green and moon yellow and once again created a glaze of this mix and applied this over all the areas where I thought this brighter light would be being cast. For the third highlight, I used Moon Yellow. To finish off the magic spell in OSL, I hit just a couple areas with some dead white. And as a final touch, I dropped some Nolan oil in between all the teeth and then coated the base in black. And with that, Seth is now complete. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you like this video, give it a like, subscribe, and make sure to hit that bell down below so you get notified whenever I upload new content. Also, go ahead and check out my Patreon page where you can get access to exclusive Bonnet Inku content, including sneak peeks, works in progress, and PDF guides for each tutorial. Hope to see you guys on the next one, but until then, Seth complete! Bonderoo, out!